Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 52 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today I'm going to take this oil that we're processing and put it to good use. Uh, specifically, there's two things I'm going to work towards. Um, so I, I started looking at converting my kerosene and gasoline into LPG, and what I've determined is it's going to be a little bit tricky for my current uh setup because we need two bars of pressure and 300 uh, degrees celsius to make that happen and currently i am struggling with the single air compressor that i have to keep the pressure up on this bad boy so like he's barely you know keeping our temperature where we need him to be uh so as a result i think it's better to take the gasoline kerosene that i have and directly use it for fuel uh and and for uh for stuff. So we'll notice LPG has, you know, 18 milliliters per millibucket, but refined fuel and kerosene are not bad. Refined and, and gasoline, I mean, gasoline and kerosene are not bad. Gasoline's like pretty much better than kerosene, but still, like, that's cool. So let's see, LPG comes from gasoline, uh, and gasoline comes from kerosene. So if I wanted to be like the most efficient, what I would probably do is convert the kerosene to gasoline, but even that I feel like would be a little bit of a stretch right now. So what, I'm, what I've decided I'm gonna do is basically have two liquid compressors here, one for kerosene and one for gasoline, and we'll let them burn and generate pressure for us. Does that sound pretty cool? All right, so let's set that up. So as you can see, uh, I've, I've created some uh, ender tanks that are going to be uh, designated colors. So we've got red for diesel. We've got yellow for LPT or LPG. Uh, we've got blue for kerosene. And then we want orange with gasoline because I figured that was more of an orange and that was more of a yellow, right? That's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. It's not, it's not Minecraft orange, but it's still more orange than this is, right? This is very yellow and this is very, a little bit less yellow. So, um, Effectively, all I'm going to need to do is take my gasoline and plop it here and take my kerosene and plop it here. And then I should be able to do this. And you'll fill up with gasoline and then I should be able to do that and you should fill up with kerosene and that will be cool. And then you'll keep doing your thing. Hopefully they won't push to each other. I forget with this lever thingy. If it, if it pushes to all sides or just below, I feel like it's all sides. So it's possible that this will dump uh, gasoline into here, but I guess we'll see what happens, right? Um, and then I've, I've got, I was originally storing them in mechanism tanks. So I'm going to simply uh, do this, zoinks. And there you go. See, I think it just did what I said it would might. No. Oh yeah, no, you totally have two buckets of kerosene in you, don't you? Okay, cool. So what if I did this? That's better. Uh, so what I did is I allowed the kerosene to go back into there. Well, that's interesting. With you off, you still drained gasoline in here. So maybe, maybe you don't need to be. Maybe he's, how did he drain into there? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know how that happened. I guess we'll keep an eye on it. So they're both off now. Is that right? I guess we'll see what happens. Um, and then one more. Yeah. So I suspected that might happen. And then I, I kind of purposely did it in a way that would prove if that would happen or not. And I was correct. So that's cool. Worst case, I'll just have to set up like a, a pump or do, I could put like one underneath and one above. There's six different ways to fix this problem. None of which are hard. Um, so now what I might do is let's, let's say that this redstone signal, let's actually do it with this stuff, right? that be cool and you guys should be running now yeah yeah look he's using gasoline and kerosene 
Nice. That's cool. So now he's not draining, right? That's what I would expect to happen because this is disabled. Yeah. Cool. And then you guys should be generating pressure, which will be good. So now we've got three pressure generators, which is cool. Okay. Okay. So we could throw some speed upgrades in there. Increases the compressed air generator per tick at the expense of fuel efficiency. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, but speed upgrades, I remember being a little tricky to make uh, because they require uh, fluid lubricant buckets. Uh, so we can either make them with glycerol, which are which is twice as efficient, or use them or use sugar. Uh, and glycerol comes from a fluid mixer of seed oil and bioethanol to make biodiesel. Okay. And then biodiesel, I assume I can use as a fuel, right? That could actually break down into lubricant too, which is cool. That might not be a bad way to get lubricant, to be honest with you. We can also use it to get plastic. So biodiesel can make both lubricant and plastic. That's kind of cool. That might be a thing we decide to go with. Bioethanol, ethanol from pneumatic craft repressurized. And seed oil from vegetable oil from pneumatic craft. I wanna I wanna stay within the mod as much as I can. Cause I always like kinda to me it's fun. There's two different ways you can approach it, right? And I've had fun with both. Initially, I like to stay within the mod, so I can be like, this is the mod, and this is what it does, and this is how you can use it, and this is all it working by itself. And then it's fun to be like, now let's pull in other mods things so that we can, you know, do OP stuff that wasn't planned for, right? Uh, so vegetable oil here is a thermonumatic press, and it just needs a little bit of pressure. That shouldn't be too bad to get going. And ethanol is generally uh, yeast culture. Oh, I remember the yeast culture process. Remember, that's the one where you have to, like, in-world drop sugar in and, and remember this? Yeah, I remember that process. Debating if I want to do that again. Maybe. That might be fun to do. Now, how are you guys doing? You're fine, but you're probably draining. Yes, because you are not behaving. Well, I mean, you are, but you're going to share with each other, which I don't want. No sharing. We don't share in this house. So, uh, and then you're probably filling up, which is cool. So we've got this cooking. Um, I'm, we should be in better place with heat now. Eh, he's still struggling a little bit, to be honest with you. I'm actually a little surprised at how much struggling we're doing, but it's probably because I made this pressure chamber so big. That's probably a big part of it. Um, I mean, we're slowly but surely ramping up our, our pressure, but it's going to be a few. So I'm thinking speed upgrades might be something I want to prioritize. So let's get um, speed upgrades. So we need uh, lubricant. Okay. And we can order some with the Amadron, but we'll take a look at that maybe in a bit. So biodiesel and redstone or diesel and redstone uh, makes lubricant. Now we have a healthy amount of diesel. But, like, not that crazy, right? We're only at 16 buckets worth. So we can get 16 speed upgrades. I'd love to make that 32, but the glycerol process only happens with biodiesel. So I have to go through this route if I want to get glycerol. There's no other way um, to do it. So I'm thinking right now, what I'll probably do is let's... Let me think about it for a minute, because I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm thinking I'll probably use the, the the diesel that I have right now, and then go from there. And I should set up the LPG to plastic processing, too. So why don't I do that? I'll set these two up to be ready to process into their parts, and then we'll look at doing biodiesel if we need to. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, so two things we want, then. We want lubricant, which I'm going to do first, and then we're going to want plastic... which I promise I can spell, uh, which we'll do second, right? And both of these uh, require a thermopneumatic processing plant. So we're going to need two of them. Um, and then that's just going to be temperature-based, it looks like. Yeah. So we're going to need a couple more Vortex dudes as well. Uh, so let me get two of these. Uh, and I think I added it over here, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
So start, get that cooking. And that one, nice. Okay, cool. So since this is like the fluid processing realm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these guys right here, I think. Now, if we look at the UI for these, I'm pretty sure they only need heat. Well, no, they actually, it depends. They might need pressure. Some things need pressure, some things don't. So see how there's no pressure gauge here? That means it doesn't need pressure, I believe. But if we flip through the recipe, we'll see some things do need pressure. So like vegetable oil needs pressure, gasoline into LPG needs pressure, but lubricant does not need pressure and plastic does not need pressure. So we don't have to worry about the pressure. Secondly, I'm pretty sure heat is shared between machines. So if I put a vortex dude on one, he should be cool. Um, that said, I might want to put the vortex dude on both only because it'll it'll increase the rate at which we generate. Let's see what let's see if I'm right about that, right? Um, so I want a heat vent, uh, heat sink. Okay, so that you're ready to heat sync this up. And then I should be able to connect these guys with a pressure tube just like so. And that will share the pressure because every machine I'm pretty sure that receives pressure can also send pressure and that should be cool. Now, if you're heating up, which you are, does that mean you're also heating up? It does, cool. Um, problems, uh, four of six block faces are exposed to air, which is, you know, obviously bad. Uh, I can fix that with more trap doors. Well, I got a few still. I might need more of these. I'll look to see if there's something more, uh, you know, nice looking. That can solve that problem. All right, so I'm assuming one of two of six faces. All oh, right, for that one, and this should be one of, yes. Okay. And for now, I'm just gonna trap door this guy. And then we can open the trap door to access it, right? Um, and alternatively, we'll probably wind up replacing the trap door uh, with, with pipes, which is probably what I'll do right now-ish, right? So for you, that should now be, uh, the problem just has no valid ingredients. No big deal. Okay, and then let's have a pipe here ready to go, but I'm going to configurate you so that you're ready for that. Neato, I like. Okay, sweet. So you have no problems and you have no problems. Perfect, okay. And you guys, I will just hang on to for a minute or put in a corner somewhere. Yep, perfect. Let me get this guy ready to go. And then we'll decide about facades or something nice looking for that stuff. But this looks good to me so far. All right, let's get our lubricant going. So there's there's two things that we'll probably need to do. Uh, what I'm thinking is let's have tanks here ready to go for the lubricant and the output here. And you can use these guys. Okay, so now you'll be able to get your lubricant pull it out, and again, no heat problems anymore. So that looks good to me. Yeah, that should be cool. And wow, they're actually getting very hot. Probably because they're not doing anything. And how's my pressure doing? Pressure's going up. So see how pressure is slowly but surely building. It's just, we only have two little generators and a giant pressure chamber. So it will eventually climb up. The good news is, is this thing is constantly running, which is nice. It's always at 101. Um, as we increase pressure, it'll continue to climb. I don't know if you saw it before, but it was flickering on and off because we just barely had enough pressure uh, to keep it going. So now let's get uh, lubricant. So lubricant is going to be redstone goes in, lubricant comes out, right? And for each uh, redstone dust that goes in, we'll get a lubricant, right? So let's first pump you, and we might as well get you going while we're at it. 
yikes, and yoinks. Perfect. So then if I put four of these in here, he should make lubricant. And then I can extract from you and from you. And now for plastics, it's uh, charcoal or coal. And we'll put four of those in. Boom. And now we're getting plastic. Beautiful. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay. Now, can I do this? Can I use you? I don't think so. All right, so let's just use a bucket. Okay. And a lubricant bucket can be turned into, I don't know how to make sugar. Bad direwolf. I don't have any sugar. Even worse, direwolf. Uh, but now I can make a speed upgrade, which should be cool. Again, I'd really like to use, like, the better speed upgrades. Now, how are you guys doing? You're at 15864. You're at 15876. They really seem to be using it at about the right speed. So if I throw that in there, okay, what should be happening now is this guy should be producing pressure faster. Um, max production, 15 milliliters per tech. And you're also at 15. 10 becomes 15. Okay. So you're 10 at a base, and you're 15 at a base. So if I throw that in there, you're going to be a more efficient way to go. Cool. All right. So that should be producing a healthy bit more, but still needs more than that. So we'll be back in a second. All right. So let's get a few more speed upgrades if I can. I'm not going to go too crazy just yet, mostly because uh, I'll also need more sugar, which shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? <laughs> I always wonder, like, how much sugar lands on the cactus and gets voided. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar. Is it, like, still raining down hilariously? Like, who needs a sugar farm when you can just do this? Just leave it until you need it, and then all of a sudden you just have, you know, 400 plus sugar. That's awesome. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, back in my... Yoinks. I really should make it so that the, this teleport brings me here, and then I can just go straight forward into the main base if I need to, or whatever. But we'll see. So anyway, uh, that is more sugar then. Which means I should be able to get at least one more of you with this recipe. And that should be it, right? Because we have no more lubricant. Cool. So what I'll probably do is wind up boosting this one up more. So now we're getting 75 milliliters per tick. So clearly a lot more of this going on, right? Because um, I think the way the calculation goes, and somebody can check my math on this if you want, that having more in one is better than having like two and two, I think. I think. Because I think it compounds, right? Um, if we look at the numbers here, we'll see it goes 15 to 22 to 33 to 50. So 50 goes to 75, that's plus 25, right? From a single one of these. Whereas this would be plus five over here. So I think it, I think it's like compounding speed upgrades. So that's neat. So that should be generating a lot more pressure now. Uh, you guys are all melting down like crazy. Here's my question, how are we for oil? Uh, not great. So let's go get more. Uh, all I need to do then is decide, oh, look at you. You're all, I'm um, down here now. Okay, cool. So let's retract you, if you don't mind. So you're going to go and retract drill pipes mode, and you should start pulling drill pipes up. So that's neato. So it looks like we have a little bit of oil left here. What I'm probably going to do is try and check out a nearby, if I can, oil well that might be in the water maybe. I'm looking for something that's relatively close by, but if I have to fly, I have to fly. Not the end of the world. Oil number one. That's going to be the first oil waypoint that we head for. So once you're finished retracting your drill pipes, which I can speed up if I so desire. Oop.
Okay, perfect. Let's put away you, and I don't need this vortex tube at the moment, and that should be good. Uh, now, did I get my, I did, I got my security upgrade back. So that looks good, I've got some coal. Let's head for it. So we're heading off in this direction, and I'm going to do the oil thing. And I'll probably set it this time to uh, keep a little bit of oil in the tank to prevent any problems, right? So, is there anything like an angel block in this pack? Angel block. Yes. Yes, there is an angel block. Beautiful. I love this block. It's the best. Such a useful little tool. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it does have the instant break still, so that's cool. Nice. Okay, beautiful. Perfect. Uh, and then you're going to have the gas lift. And then you're gonna have the air compressor. And then you're gonna have the coal going on with a security upgrade. You're gonna get the dispenser upgrade. I can take this back now. We can do that. And then I just give you some of these, right? And then once you have a sufficient amount, status will be idling, pump and leave fluid in tank for filtering. See, I think it's leaving one millibucket in there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice. And then all we need to do is um, chunk load this chunk. And that works for me. All right, and then you're just gonna keep on keeping on, right? Now I assume what's gonna happen is you go like really far down. Uh -huh. I actually have no idea what to expect here. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hoping that... Oh, you know what? There's gravel here. I bet that gummed up the works, maybe? I guess we'll see. Because in theory, this guy should drill down, right? Now, I can probably do something like that, right? Do you think that's all the oil there is? That can't be all the oil there is, right? No fluids found below. That's not good. Do I have a water breather thingy? I do. No fluid found below. Okay. That's not cool. Right? Is that all the oil there is here? That can't be right. That can't be right. Can it? I mean, anything can be right. Put away some junk. I'm gonna collect this all and try that again. Because I feel like that's it. I feel like we got all the oil that was here and that can't, that can't be right. Actually, let's get you into retract pipes mode. Oh my, you break really slow. All right, so unchunk load. And let's find another oil well to try pumping up at. How about, there's something over here-ish, but I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna set this as my waypoint, oil number two, and we'll we'll, we'll find our way over there. And then while I got uh, a second, let's do this. Quick nap. And away we go. Let's see what we can find over here. So I'm curious, this will this will be a little bit of a bummer if uh, things don't behave the way I would like them to. Hey, check this out. Nice little spider cave down here. That's cool. That's neat. I like how it generated right in the water there. All right, so these little things were for the basalt. Okay, so let's see what this looks like if I go straight down over here. 
because I'm now exceedingly curious as to how this works. You would have expected this to, like, go down, right? Now, it looks like this again. Interesting. I hope I picked up everything, by the way. I think I did. No fluid valve below, which is super concerning to me. Well, we'll see, right? I can probably put these guys away for the time being. Hey, not bad. Almost got it. So then, actually, let's put this one higher. And we'll do gas lift. And we'll do you with a security upgrade and coal. And you start generating. And then you get these guys. And you can have a dispenser upgrade. With this. And then we'll take accelerate. And then you can be in pump and lead fluid in tank mode. And what mostly has me concerned is it's not going through the water, right? So that might be troublesome. I guess we'll see what happens. So he's collecting all this oil. Because he's supposed to drill. So he's supposed to drill through like solid blocks. Now, one trick that I could try if I wanted to. If he chooses not to go through the water blocks here, which I would which I would say okay to. Maybe he'll drill through solid blocks. <laughs> ah, that worked. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now, what I might do in addition to that now um, is I would let it go deeper, right? So if we got more of these guys, let's get like a stack. And you guys convert into the gas pipes. So you went down pretty deep. Oh, look at how much pressure it needs to, uh, to do stuff anymore. That's cool. I'm assuming we're not going to run into anything. That's my that's my thoughts here. Can I shrink my way into this? You think? I can. Ha <laughs> ha. That's cool. That's cool. So now we're down at Y level negative fifty five. Uh, I I assume that it's safe to say that there is no oil here. I assume that that's what's up. That is a fair assessment. Okay. So that's a bummer. So that's two oil wells that we found in the ocean now that literally have like five buckets of oil and that's it to them. Wah, 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 wah. We may need to find an alternate source. For the time being, let's retract. Get you up to a stackish. I do like that retract mode. That is cool. Oh, right. I'm shrunk. Beautiful. Just barely, but beautiful. All right. Uh, then with that said, actually, I'll hold on to you for now. Let me look into this for a minute. I'm just going to check a couple things. I know there's another one nearby. Actually, let me look at this one. Am I going to be able to see what this is? If I got a bucket, I would know. I'm just curious which mods oil this is. Is this Pneumatocraft's oil or somebody else's? Uh, this is, yeah, this is Pneumatocraft's oil. Okay, fair enough. Uh, back in a minute. So I found another oil lake on the surface. We're not going to get a ton of oil here. There's another one that happens to be right next to it, which is cool, which I'll probably, you know, plan to eventually have. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to, I think, because I'm looking at it. I don't see another way to get oil. Uh, though, in fairness, we probably have. Is Ark Tools Dimensions in the pack? Is Ark Tools Dimensions not updated yet? So I'm going to need to get RF Tools Dimensions added to the pack because it looks like it got missed. And usually we have, you know, a lot of RF Tools mods in there. It looks like what I'm guessing is when the pack came out, Dimensions might not have been out yet, but it looks like it's out now. So we'll get it added. Um, so for now, then, basically, there's two ways to create like a ton of oil, right? Or a ton of any liquid, really. Uh, we can either make a dimension for it, which I don't think we can do just yet, obviously, or uh, we can get uh, the pump going for this dude, right? The laser drill fluids. That would probably work. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. So we're probably going to have to get into industrial four going if we want to get that rolling, which I'm probably going to start having to work on. So what I'm thinking is for the time being, we'll go this route. And then we'll switch into RF Tools Dimensions shortly. You know what? I think I forgot to chunk load that. Yep, that's my bad. That's on me. I, I'm gonna switch into I'm gonna switch into Industrial Four going. Maybe next episode or the or the episode after. I want to get some things going with Pneumatocraft still before I get into Four going. But if I really need more oil, which I might, Four going will at least give me infinite oil, and that would be that would be cool. That would be nice. I would like that. So yeah, let's get, I'm heading in the right direction. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We can, oh look, you're flickering. That's cool. So you're sitting at four bars of pressure, which is cool. And then he'll flicker on and off, which I don't love, if I'm being honest. I don't love this flickering on and off stuff. I will probably want to set up something such that that doesn't happen as much. But we'll deal with that in the future. Uh, for now, let's wrap up. So I'm going to come back next episode and we'll uh, spend a little time either on foregoing or continuing down this path. I mean, I still obviously have a good amount of oil now that'll hold me over and I can drain both those lakes of it. But eventually it's going to get tedious having to constantly, you know, find a new source of oil, especially with such a small amount per lake. So we'll figure that out probably foregoing maybe dimension we'll see but for now wrapping up point so dial 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode let's come back next time and i'll probably get auto crafting with the pressure chamber going all right so for now take it easy